I wanted to share with you a letter that I had published in the New York Times today. Uh, it was in response to an op-ed piece that ran on Sunday, and the title of that piece was In Defense of Superstition. The author was, or is, Matthew Hudson, and he is the author of a forthcoming book, quote, The Seven Laws of Magical Thinking, How Irrational Beliefs Keep Us Happy, Healthy, and Sane. Um, I really wasn't very moved uh, to respond uh, to the article at first, it, um, and I, honestly it struck me as, as not much new. Mostly it suggests, I believe this empirically uh, valid claim that that people find reassurance in superstitions and magical beliefs. Um, and I actually disagreed at the end um, on one of the claims, uh, and that was that without magical thinking, according to uh, Mr. Hudson, um, the existential angst of realizing we're just impermanent clusters of molecules with no ultimate purpose would overwhelm us. Well, honestly, uh, I believe that I am an impermanent cluster of molecules uh, with no ultimate purpose, and I don't find that overwhelming in the least. But the reason I objected to the piece and the reason that I responded uh, with my own letter has to do with uh, what I consider to be the uh, unrecognized cost of magical thinking, at least unrecognized by... Mr. Hudson, and the best way for me to communicate my objection is to read my letter, which I will do so now. Uh, I agree with Matthew Hudson that magical thinking may confer certain limited psychological benefits, but I feel he is mistaken when he says that, quote, at its worst, it can lead to obsession, fatalism, or psychosis. No, at its worst, magical thinking can lead to the rejection of critical public health measures like vaccination, to the denial of the reality of impending global climate change, or to the instigation of murderous attacks on non-believers and adherents of other faiths. If only superstition were somehow confined to the personal sphere of lucky charms and self-affirmations. Sadly, that is not the case, and the rest of the world suffers as some insist on continuing to think magically. And it's signed, Mark Merlin, Atlanta, April 8, 2012. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, I think the letter stands on its own. I'll add uh, links to both my letter and to the original um, piece that I was responding to in the description area. And it is an opportunity for me to once again remind us that we are all in this together, and here we are all in this uh, together uh, in trying to um, support a world where people make decisions based upon evidence and rational thinking. Thank you very much.